my name is uh, Boris Kuznetsov, and uh, today, today we're going to talk about uh, evolution of uh, garbage collection in Irlang. Um, I work at uh, Ivroni, and uh, it is a Russian com company. We are hosting several conferences, uh, like uh, such as uh, annual Ruby conference uh, in Russia, and uh, also um, a conference about uh, functional programming uh, with uh, languages uh, uh, such as uh, Haskell uh, and uh, others. Uh, so. Uh, I use it to think about myself as a Ruby developer for several years, uh, several years. but uh, for, the, for the last year I uh, haven't touched uh, Ruby at all. And uh, the last year, the whole year, I was uh, ex uh, experimenting with uh, different uh, platforms and uh, uh, different la languages, uh, uh, including uh, Elixir and uh, Erlang. So, uh, when I was uh, preparing for this talk, uh, I uh, explored uh, Erlang virtual machine a little bit, and uh, the first uh, impression of mine uh, was that uh, Erlang is uh, really awesome. Uh, it has really robust uh, uh, tools, uh, implementation, and uh, really interesting uh, virtual machine. Also, I uh, have met with uh, diff uh, some opinions about Elixir, and uh, I want to say uh, say that uh, Elixir uh, is uh, a promising tool because uh, it uh, has it was influenced uh, by by the Ruby language uh, kind of, uh, and uh, the one of core co concepts of Ruby language is uh, programmer happiness. Yukihiro you Matsumoto is creator of Ruby. Um, yes, uh, he's from Japan, and uh, he wants uh, uh, to think about uh, programmer happiness. So, and uh, it uh, brings uh, uh, that uh, culture to the Elixir, and, and of course, uh, Elixir has has an influence uh, to the Erlang ecosystem, and also Ruby culture, the culture er around the Ruby language. Uh, um, has been supporting uh, remote job and also uh, this uh, uh, this view influence influence uh, the Elixir language and uh, Erlang. So uh, today we're gonna talk about uh, process structure and uh, garbage collector in uh, in Erlang, how it uh, works uh, and how it worked before. Uh, I will be referencing to the earliest version of Erlang. But I will always uh, point uh, to the current version if uh, it is different from from the previous ones. Uh, so, overall ar architecture of um, uh, overall architecture of uh, the current virtual machine is uh, we have uh, schedulers uh, with each own queue of the processes. So we have uh, each uh, scheduler per one core. Uh, in previous versions of Erlang, it was a uh, common chart uh, queue, uh, which uh, processes uh, will be picked uh, by, by the schedulers. So, but uh, now we have uh, a, a separate ones for, for, the, for the each scheduler. So, the process in Erlang virtual machine is uh, a key part of the system, and it is uh, also an isolation unit of uh, computation. Uh, so, I, I want to say uh, that. Uh, uh, each process uh, has its own heap, and uh, it, that heap is completely isolated for another processes. So we um, we want to uh, divide. Uh, we can divide the process uh, to the two different parts. The first part is uh, process memory area, and uh, the second part is uh, process uh, controller controller block. So the uh, process control block itself uh, uh, contains uh, just uh, statistic data, overall data of the process, like uh, links, counters, statuses, flags, and so on. And uh, schedulers exa exactly operate uh, uh, these controllers. Uh, but also, when when we start a pro program, we have. Uh, uh, we have uh, memory area when we want to store the 
uh, computational data. So uh, each uh, process has uh, its own heap, and uh, at the top of, of the heap uh, we store the stack. the computational data and uh, the stack uh, grows uh, down downwards uh, when uh, our execution been deeper and deeper so uh, at the bottom of bottom of the heap uh, we have um, the heap of the process uh, which grows upwards and uh, while we is executing uh, executing our comments from the stack uh, we have uh, uh, some data which yields from our computation and uh, this data stores on the heap. So uh, to keep track of uh, of the heap, uh, we have uh, a process controller which is uh, just a struct uh, in C language uh, which uh, uh, has uh, uh, which stores the pointers uh, to the heap. Uh, we have uh, two boundaries like uh, heap and uh, heap end, and between them we have uh, top of the heap and the top of the stack. Uh, let's take uh, at some example of uh, sending messages. Uh, at this slide, we have uh, uh, we have uh, code from some Erlang version, uh, and uh, this code uh, the method call, uh, calls uh, uh, send message, uh, which uh, of course will send the message message from uh, receiver to the from sender to the receiver. So we, uh, when we want to pass the message to the process, uh, we pass the receiver and the message, of course, uh, as an argument. And uh, in order to place uh, the message to, to the heap of the receiver process, we need to we need to check uh, if uh, we have uh, if it uh, has available available space to place the object. And if it is not, uh, we call the finally call the garbage collector method. We uh, when as arguments we specify um, we specify the uh, process we want to uh, garbage collect and the the size we uh, want it will be available for our objects. So after that, uh, after place is available, we move uh, the uh, pointer of the top uh, top heap and. Uh, uh, finally, copy message uh, to the heap of the process. So, <coughs> let's go deeper and uh, look uh, exactly how garbage uh, collect method works. So, when we call the garbage collect method, uh, we pass the several arguments, and uh, that arguments is uh, a process uh, control unit uh, control block, and. Uh, Space we need to, we need to on the heap of that process and uh, additional two arguments like uh, root root objects uh, uh, which uh, can uh, which can store the objects on the uh, heap of the process. So uh, the garbage collect method need to decide which way we want to go. As you know, the Erlang have uh, has. Uh, different uh, garbage collection and for the collection al algorithms and for the uh, main process, uh, for the heap of the main process, we use uh, same space uh, garbage collector, uh, same, same space generational garbage collector. So uh, when, when, you th when you hear the, uh, the word uh, generational, it is uh, uh, the way to track uh, the young objects and the mature objects. So we have module collection, uh, which will be called uh, if uh, we force the ma major, major collection by the setting the flag, uh, uh, if need uh, full sweep. But also it will be uh, uh, called after the uh, limit of minor collection. The current li limit of minor, minor collection is around uh, 65,000. So uh, after the 65,000 of minor collection, the major, major will happen. So the what uh, minor minor collection I exactly do? Um, the first um, uh, the first thing to do uh, we are allocating a new uh, heap area to the live objects, and the second uh, the second action we define which part of the system can use uh, can store some data on the heap, 
and uh, uh, next uh, we trace uh, the root objects uh, uh, and move uh, uh, reference at objects uh, by the roots from he previous heap to the new one. Um, so and after that, uh, after we uh, moved, we have moved all uh, objects uh, from from the heap. We iterate over the new heap and move remaining ob objects uh, that has a link uh, uh, to the to the previous heap. So in the last part, uh, we move the stack uh, to the new allocated heap and uh, set the pointers. Uh, you can uh, notice that we have a high water pointer which specifies the data which survived uh, first manual collection. It is called mature data. Um, let's uh, look uh, more closely at uh, root objects. Uh, and uh, root objects uh, is clients of our heap. Uh, it places uh, which can uh, uh, which uh, it is uh, places which uses uh, uh, the heap area of the process, and of course, the first place and mo most obvious uh, client of uh, of the heap I I it is a stack. So the stack can uh, refer uh, refer to the to the heap and store some data, but uh, it is the the another ones, and of course, uh, it uh, can uh, vary. It depends on depend on the version of the Erlang, but in general, we we will have uh, dictionary data what dictionary data what is uh, the k value st storage of uh, of the process and the sequential sequential trace token token which is used to trace uh, different uh, different types of messages uh, passed uh, to the process also have a bit of the group leader of the process and uh, also it has uh, it has uh, F value and uh, if trace uh, where the exceptional uh, thrown exception data will be stored, and of course, uh, as from the uh, previous example, we store the messages uh, data on on the heap. Uh, so, but uh, what will happen on the next uh, minor collection? Uh, as uh, from the previous version, we iterate over the root objects and move uh, all referenced uh, uh, objects from the previous heap to the new one. But uh, uh, from previous final collection, we have high watermark. And if the, uh, if the root object uh, has a reference to the uh, object below the high watermark, it will be placed to the new uh, type of heap. It's called the old heap. Uh, the old heap uh, stores the data data that su survived more more than one minor collection. Um, so and after we iterate over the over the all root objects, uh, we check uh, we check uh, uh, together heap errors like uh, current heap and uh, heap with the old o objects uh, for references. And uh, move uh, all remaining references to to that heaps, uh, to that heap. Um, and uh, right now we uh, we doing uh, mi minor collection uh, for a while. But uh, uh, major collection uh, will will, uh, uh, will happen after the sixty five thousand of minor collection. And uh, we in a way that ma major collection is different. Uh, is that we have uh, we have old heap which is not uh, um, moved to the new t new heap and uh, hasn't uh, high water mark, and on the cycle of um, minor minor sweep we uh, we don't uh, touch the old heap at all, and uh, the ma major collection is different uh, uh, because uh, we uh, trace. Uh, we trace the old uh, objects from the old heap and move it uh, to the new created one. And also, we destroy destroy the high high water mark, and all objects uh, uh, will be counted as a young generation. But it was a problem with um, it was an issue with uh, with the major collection and uh, with heap, which is uh, grow grows uh, for for a large amount of, and stores large amount of of data, because um, 
Erlang uh, virtual machine and uh, more precisely schedulers don't like um, a long running job. Uh, and uh, if you if you have been using uh, native implemented functions, and if the functions, uh, even if you look at the documentation, you will read uh, something about uh, that you need to, your f your function uh, should be yields uh, after one millisecond at least. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, it may be happen. Uh, it uh, the scheduler co collapse uh, will be happened. Uh, any time. So the solution for this kind of problem, because um, garbage collection collection will take some time, uh, can take some long time, and collapse the schedulers, and they won't um, respond uh, f for the new pro processes. It was also a flag for the Irlang, uh, which uh, encourage uh, encourage the schedulers to recover itself itself after the collapse which can uh, ha happen, of course, af after the long garb garbage collection. So to solve this uh, kind of problem, we the OTP team was uh, introduced uh, to the community uh, the dirty, s dirty schedules. The dirty schedules uh, has uh, the shared queue with uh, dirty jobs. And also you can implement uh, your native implemented f function as a dirty and it will be working on the dirty job queue in and will be uh, running by, by the dirty schedules dirty schedules um, has its uh, uh, have its uh, own rules and uh, uh, dirty schedules uh, live uh, in a parallel world uh, on the on the same course as uh, just a normal schedule but uh, let's go back uh, to the garbage collection and uh, uh, what it means to have uh, d dirty garbage collection. When the process uh, run out of the heap uh, free space, uh, it asks uh, the it uh, asks uh, the garbage collection for, for the new space. And uh, what uh, the garbage collection do uh, does is uh, it uh, check uh, the size of the heap and if uh, the heap size is large enough, it uh, sets the special flags uh, to the process uh, that uh, this process should be run by the dirty schedules. Uh, so, and also you can see the last uh, uh, last line. It is uh, go to delay GC before start. What uh, what does it mean? Uh, when we when the process run runs out of memory and uh, ask asks uh, the garbage collection f collection for uh, for the space uh, and uh, garbage collection yields uh, say that uh, okay I, I i will pro provide you space later uh, after the dirty garbage collection but uh, we have uh, un unspent uh, reductions. Uh, the process actually can 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 run and uh, do do its job. And uh, w w how 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 to solve that problem that uh, we need the space now, but the garbage collection will happen later. Actually, we uh, we have the new uh, have the solution. We just uh, create a new new heap, and uh, the size of that heap will be the stack. Uh, the need space and uh, some addi additional lag uh, for couple ha for for the 40 words, uh, and uh, move for all pointers to the new new heap, uh, a small one just for the space we need. But what uh, we should do f with the uh, previous uh, actual heap, uh, which contains uh, all data we need, we uh, rename the pointers uh, pointer of the start of the heap uh, as an uh, abandoned heap. So uh, right now we have uh, uh, current heap, uh, heap for old generation, and also heap uh, for current uh, delayed uh, garbage collection. So, but uh, you can imagine the, uh, what will happen ne next. Uh, if uh, process uh, has um, uh, unspent reduction, it will uh, uh, we'll will be executing, and uh, uh, for the time we again will be faced with the same situation when uh, we don't have uh, 
uh, enough uh, memory on the heap, but uh, the garbage collection uh, should be uh, run as a dirty one. So the solution uh, you can think of, maybe we should introduce a abund second abund abundant heap, but uh, uh, imagine that and uh, it will be f filed and next will be thought, fought, and so on. But uh, actually we do it, it some, uh, in a something different way. So we allocate a new heap and move the all pointers to the new heap. By the uh, on this um, screen we have uh, from the left uh, abundant heap, uh, uh, previous heap, and uh, the new one. But uh, to store the data of the previous heap, uh, which is in the middle, we linked I it is uh, in in a process controller um, in uh, as a linked uh, heap data. So actually, the process memory can be divided on um, such uh, different parts: a current heap, uh, old heap, abandoned heap, and heap fragments, uh, which cal cal can't be any uh, any any size uh, you want, like uh, ten heap fragments, maybe even hundred heap fragments. So, and uh, what about uh, the memory grow? So when we do magic collection, uh, we move out uh, uh, the objects from the heap fragments, uh, old heap, and uh, we need to grow uh, our heap in order to store th all the data. So, um, the actually memory grow by the predefinite, uh, pre predefinite sizes, uh, which populates uh, on the start of the virtual machine. So, the first uh, 23 sizes uh, populates from the Fibonacci numbers. The zero number and first is uh, 12 and 38, but in early version versions uh, it uh, was the different num numbers. And after the 20, 23rd, uh, the heap uh, will grow on 20%. Uh, tw 20%, uh, 20 uh, but uh, of course, in it uh, different depends of the uh, of the virtual machine version. In previous ones, it was 25%. So what about uh, if uh, we have really lar large heap and uh, uh, should we shrink it and what the rules we should follow to to adjust uh, the heap heap size? So the general heap uh, size uh, uh, will be at least as big as uh, one eighth of old uh, heap for old objects, or or three times more than uh, need after. Need after it is just uh, stake uh, uh, heap after garbage collection and uh, um, and needed space and depends of uh, which is bigger we will choose the size of the next uh, allocated heap but uh, for the major collection when we allocate uh, uh, and move data from uh, not only current heap but uh, from the old generation we uh, ensure that uh, the new heap with all young objects uh, be at least uh, as requested space, or if it will be bigger, we sh shrink it if uh, it uh, four times more than uh, need, need after. Uh, so, uh, what's next? Um, we have uh, explored the uh, garbage collection which uh, uh, processes use, but um, the Erlang virtual machine uh, ha has uh, also ano another different types of uh, garbage collection, like uh, a counter gar garbage collection, which uh, will count the references for the uh, for the big uh, binaries, uh, which can be shared uh, between the processes. Um, so, uh, as a references, I encourage you. Uh, and uh, I encourage you to read, and uh, which helps me to uh, prepare for this talk. Uh, it's, it's listed here. Uh, so thank you for the listening. Um, I hope it uh, it was nice uh, journey. Thank you.